Wow. <laughs> I'm going to disappoint everyone now after that introduction. But really, you should write my resume for me, please. <laughs> I think <laughs> you have to disregard a lot of the things that Ahang said. I don't even know where he got <laughs> that from. You know, I'm just, just a student of Baha'i history, of trying, struggling to find more and more things about anything and everything. And it's a pleasure to be here, really. Um, when I uh, learned through Ahang that I could come here, <laughs> that it was a possibility, I was delighted. I have been to Florida many, many years ago, but never really met the Baha'i community. It was just uh, one of those student trips. <laughs> anyway, the House of Justice, however, according to the explicit text of the law of God, is confined to men. This for a wisdom of the Lord God's, which will ere long be made manifest as, er as clearly as the sun at high noon. All right, now this, this, these couple of lines have always come up, right? At every discussion about equality of man and woman. Now, if man and woman are equal, then why? Why does Abdul Baha say that uh, women cannot be on the house of justice? And, uh, and why will it become as clear as noonday sun one day? What does that mean? What will become clear? You know, and there's a lot of ideas being thrown around. Now, when we look at women, okay, and the way that they are biologically, women give birth to children, right? They become impregnated and they, the, the, the fetus gets carried for nine months and they give birth. Could men give birth? Sorry? Well, there was, there was the one man, but he used to be a woman. The, the, the surgery didn't quite go well. So that's, <laughs> uh, the, 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 that was the surgeon has to, be, has to be blamed for that. But men cannot give, cannot give birth. That's as clear as daylight, sunlight, right? Does anybody, has anybody ever questioned that in, in all of these centuries? Has everybody gone around and say, men cannot give, uh, give birth, so they are, they're inferior. They're not equal to women. Has anyone ever said that? I think, I think it's more inequality right there than women not being on the house of justice. Because what, which man, I, I, I'm a mother, I'm a mother of two, and I've had two creatures growing inside of me, and I've given birth to them. I, I think men should envy that. As, as much as it's painful, as much as it ruins your life forever, but, <laughs> but still, it's, it's something that's, that's incredible. It's something that a man could never even imagine how it is. You can think about it, you can... Um, Ima well, you could imagine to some extent, but you can never know what it is, what sort of an experience it is. And, and it's as clear, I mean, men are, that's their function. And women, that's their function. Women's function is to give birth, to be nurturing, to be loving. Now, membership on the Universal House of Justice is a function. It has nothing to do with the character of a, of a human being, the qualities of a human being, it, it has nothing to do with equality. If I'm not born to fulfill a certain function, it goes to the differences that we talked about earlier. It has nothing to do with the essence of oneness. Man and woman are one in essence because the, all of humanity is one, but we are different. A woman gives birth, something as big as that, but men don't. So 
is, is, is there equality there or not? I, I want some answer. Do you, do you, back there, do you think men and women are equal? Because <laughs> yourself, <laughs> nobody wants to answer me. But my, my point is that certain functions are made to be carried forward by men and certain functions by women. Uh, and, and, and I use the example of giving birth because that's just such a visible, such a, a distinctive characteristics. And, and I believe the House of Justice is, is the same way because if we go deep into the writings, which I haven't been able to go yet, but you know, we can try to do that, we understand the House of Justice will not always be the way that it is now. One day the House of Justice would be the ruling, the administrative body for the entire humanity. That's why it is the universal, not the international or the national House of Justice. It is the universal House of Justice. And at that point, we don't know what sort of decisions they will have to make. They may have to wage war against an opposing country, or against an aggressor, against someone, uh, some you know, nation or people who arise against another nation and people. And as we read from Abdu'l-Baha, Abdu'l-Baha doesn't wish for women to acquire those qualities. Abdu'l-Baha doesn't wish for women to have to give orders to wage war, even against aggressors, because our functions are different. Our function is to be nurturing. We need, we need to have, the world will need to have mothers forever and ever and ever. If, if we lose motherhood, if, if, if being a mother becomes a mechanical thing where you become a man and you have two men living in the house, two men looking, taking care of the children, looking after the children, then that whole family quality, that essence, will get destroyed and uh, will get washed away.